Salisbury University is a school with some of the most premier athletics in Division III sports on Maryland's Eastern Shore. With multiple titles in the Eastern College Athletic Conference, New Jersey Athletic Conference, and the Atlantic Central Football Conference. The success of the program has ushered many All-Americans through Salisbury University and has earned them 10 NCAA appearances. Since 1998, the program has soared to new heights under the leadership of Coach Sherman Wood. Over the past 18 years under Coach Wood's leadership, the program has earned their stellar 122-60 and 60 record. All my life, uh, according to my family, ever since I was five years old, I loved sports. Yeah, I was always, uh, when all the other kids was outside playing, I was in, inside watching sports on television, according to my mom. And it just fascinated me, you know, in terms of uh, the chemistry, the team bonding, the professionalism, all those things that's played a role in, in me being uh, what I am today. As an alumni of Salisbury University himself, Wood graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and furthered his education with a Master's Degree in Counseling Psychology from Bowie State, which he would later return to for his first head coaching opportunity. However, before accepting the Bowie State position, he first worked as a volunteer assistant under former Salisbury head coach Mike McGlinchey. Wood then went to work at Bowie State as grad assistant and then full-time assistant at Virginia Union University. This was my first administrative head coaching duty at uh, Virginia Union University. This was in 1992, okay? So I'm assistant, I'm the defensive coordinator. In three games, the third game of the year, the head coach was fired in his first year. Third game. You know, he finished the season. And then I took over as the coach. And my first game as a head coach was against Bowie State. <laughs> In his six seasons as Bowie head coach, the team under Wood went 21-37-1. Wood finally returned to his alma mater and where he played for as a four-year letterman defensive back. It was a long journey, you know, for me to get here. Um, I think I had to start when high school, when Salisbury was recruiting me. And I uh, didn't know anything about Salisbury. I had no clue what Salisbury was. I'm from north of Virginia. So from the bridge, from the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, the whole, it's like the whole world was separated from the bridge. So I really didn't know anything but the Tidewater area. So anyway, Salisbury kept calling. I paid a visit and you know, actually my mother encouraged me to visit. She said, if someone is interested in you, mom know, didn't know anything about football or any sports, but she had common sense. She said, look, if someone keeps calling you, why don't you just go visit? Mom, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what's going on. Well, thank, thank goodness mom told me to come visit Salisbury and the rest was history. So I sent Coach Wood this long email about like telling him my story about how, like, how much it would mean to me if I was given the opportunity to play there. And he called me back literally the same day, I think, or the next morning, left me a voicemail. I was like, I already talked to the people in the missions. Like, they got you in. I just need you to do this. I need you to do that. And I was like, wow, this, this guy is about it. From a young age, Coach Wood was always put in positions for leadership, his family and teachers playing a key part in his development as a young man. The person he credits the most is his mother. Mom was uh, his number one. You know, she... Uh, she was tough. She was tough on, on me. I was the oldest of five. I'm oldest of five. And um, she taught me leadership, responsibility, accountability, being very independent. Uh, basically, I was independent since I was 16 years old. Uh, I, I have to start with mom. And obviously, throughout my walk of life, uh, definitely a couple elementary school teachers, Ms. Thompson. Uh, she was my first grade teacher, to be honest with you. So if you remember your first grade teacher, uh, at my age, you know, she obviously had an influence on me. You know, those folks inspired me to just be a good person. And, you know, they, they always told me I had a lot of potential to do things. You know, obviously back then I didn't know what they were talking about. With a degree in psychology tied with influential figures that shaped him into the man he is, he took his leadership abilities to the next step and began coaching. But moving forward to college, um, I was just about to head back home. I had one year of eligibility. I mean, one year of uh, one semester left to graduate. My eligibility was up. So I decided that I work here on campus and finish up my schooling for that one semester. 
And when that uh, was going on, a gentleman by the name of Hank Jansik tapped me on the shoulder and asked me what was I doing this semester, which was the, the fall semester. And I, I said, well, I'm just working, get my degree ahead back home. And he asked me, would you like to help coach Salisbury football team? I said, sure, why not? One of the most important parts of Coach Wood's philosophy are his relationships with his players. Coach Wood emphasizes the importance of each athlete being treated with dignity and respect as young men, and also the importance of education in their lives. Uh, open communication. I, I think, uh, number one, students have a lot on their plates. You know, you have to take that in consideration. Uh, even from the transition from high school uh, to college, uh, that's to me is the most sensitive time when you really want to have a rapport with your student athletes. You know, as a coach, the the way you coach your team, it, you kind of have a you gotta have a pulse. He's like the pulse of our team, so the more he's into it, the more we get into it, and we kind of follow suit as as he coaches. So the coaches, especially Coach Wood, he cares for you. He cares about you. You know, he puts your personal being like how you are off the field like first before the whole team environment. To me he's a man of character, a good, great character. He, he shows very good integrity. He's the man on the field that he is off the field. He doesn't talk behind anyone's back. He tells you just how it is and he wants you to learn and grow as a, per, as a player as you will as a man. Uh, academics number one, number, number one and uh, the rapport, open communication is very, I have an open door policy. When the kids come in, um, your kids come in for a lot of things, you know, social, social life problems, uh, relational problems, um, parental problems, you know, you name it. He didn't let it be known that he was going to come to the funeral or to the wake. And just when I got out of the car, you know, it was a pretty somber day. He, I saw him, he was the first, one of the first faces I saw going into my mother's funeral. So that really like, surprised me and let me know that the relationship goes beyond football. And we are the sort of in-between peacemaker for those kids that try to continue to make sure they continue their path academically. Helpful, very helpful. Not even on the field, but he's done so much for me off, off the field that not a lot of people know that, you know, in my life and as a male figure in my life. So he's very helpful in my life. The man who hired Coach Wood, former athletic director Dr. Michael Vienna, praised Wood on his ability to connect with students. Quote, starting with the interview process, his interaction with the players, I could tell he was a motivator, disciplinary, and held them to a standard. Dr. Vienna is now the athletic director at Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia, but still roots for the Seagulls and wishes Coach Wood more success in the future. Coach Wood prides himself on his outreach in the Salisbury area, stressing the importance of the community's impact on the SU football program. Coach Wood has worked with Horizons for well over a decade. Horizons is a program that gets the football players involved in bettering the lives of young students. Uh, Coach Woods would come out and uh, share his experiences and his, uh, his take on how you should be a part of the community, a productive part of the community. And he would do that by sharing um, the football players. After his 18 years of being head coach for SU, Wood says he will continue to maintain the standards he set forth for student athletes by staying involved in the community and helping others. I, there was one point in time in, in my career that, you know, you're thinking like Division I, NFL, Notre Dame, those type of things, but things are just so different now. and. Uh, I like the idea of seeing what has happened here in Salisbury, the growth, the stadium, and more plans to come. Um, and the older I've gotten, it's just, you know, those things really doesn't matter as much to me uh, than making sure my family grows and, and uh, you know, whatever comes, if it seems good, if it's, um, you know, provides a positive living, and if it's gonna make a difference in lives, then I'll, I'll have my eyes and ears open. Uh, but at this point in time, I love what I'm doing.